Oh, yes, yes, people, I'm just reach because guess what? Blessings are run me down. This episode is going to be an amazing one because we're going down Holy Road with who? John Mark Wigan. Because run me, run me, run me. <laughs> yes, are you ready? We're going to get into the show now. So get ready for a brand new episode with John Mark Wigan. Maybe we're going to talk now. It's real, so much fun. Have a good time, yes, you will. Got style, got players. Get in the zone with a total package show. Come on over. Come on over to the Total Package Show. Come on over. Come on over to the Total Package Show. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Total Package Show. I am Rajan Brown and I am always happy to be back. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, we're always happy to come over here, especially this season 6 where we are looking on the theme Faith and Strong Mind, where I bring to you some of the people that were the biggest faith there could ever be yes, and the minds that Stop goes to gym. <laughs> this episode is going to be an interesting one because it might just be on glory road you know <laughs> and i know all of you over there you know tune in to see the big man himself the gospel artist of the year all of the, the, the artists now we are around jamaica Presence is everywhere and I want that Making me feel to dance and I love But no matter where I am in the earth If I lay my head on a mountain under the sea Ready? Watch! Jump! Let's see! Jump! I just can't hide <laughs> John Mark Wigan, how are you? Good day, man. Good yeah, to man. have you, man. Pleasure. It's a long time coming. I appreciate you know? the vibes, man. Let me tell you something about John Mark. It's because John Mark has been touring. Don't every, every church want him at the church. Every church want him at their church. Every yeah. concert want him on the show. Because the show can't be nice without John. Love, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, man, how that are you? Good. M -m good. You know? Yeah, man. I feel all right. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad that you're here. You know I'm missing our big, big, me big him for come on the show, guys. <laughs> One long while now, say, can't give me a feature. <laughs> now nah, I get the feature. <laughs> so, you know, Tina? If you know John is the boss, there's anything John say, I say, God, let's work. <laughs> By the time you say, no, yo, when you can't come on the show, like, can't find the exact time for, but look, we're there. We're there. We're grateful. We're there. We're and there. I guess whatever we are going to talk about will bless somebody. And, and we will have a nice time in here. We are going to have a nice me? time. So yeah. make sure you're ready because we are ready to have a good time. That is it. So, John, tell me five words that describe you. Mm -hmm. I think I'm funny. Yeah, I think I'm hilarious. Um, I do think I'm talented. I think I'm very compassionate. Uh, mm. Some members of my team say I'm soft. Yeah. You know what I mean? They say I'm soft hard. I, I do think I'm very compassionate. Um, hard working. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, mm, I have vision. Oh, I have nice. vision. Vision. Yeah. Without vision, the people perish. That guy. That's why you have flourished so much because you have vision. Yes, boy. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. So, where are you originally from? Yeah, funny enough. Looking at the news earlier this evening, uh -huh. see that Princess Margaret's hospital are big for all kind of things. They need all kind of things. I was born in that hospital. Where you is know? that? Princess Margaret Hospital? St. Thomas. St. Thomas, Princess Margaret Hospital. Where is St. Thomas? That Jamaica St. Thomas? Jamaica St. Thomas. Yeah. I don't know where St. Thomas you come from. St. Thomas. But John is the second guest that come from St. Thomas. Somebody's going to come from St. Thomas. Who came from St. Thomas? The people that I represent, man. Um, that is it. Cool Colors TV come from St. Thomas. Represent for the new road. <laughs> new road. Represent for the new center where I got KFC. You understand? For Princess Margaret Hospital. Yeah. So it just jumped into my mind for say that. Mm -hmm. um, grew up in Antigua though. Mm. You know what I mean? From so you're born in St. Thomas? Yeah. You left Jamaica when you were? Age five. Four or five. Ooh. Yeah. Did most of my growing up in Antigua. By, by the time I knew my name is John Mark, mm -hmm. I was in Antigua. Oh, so when you're sure, really? sure, say you are you. Me in Antigua. So you don't really know nothing about Jamaica when you look at Pitney Not at the time. I know basic school. Mm -hmm. I know the hill that I'm from. Mm -hmm. Right? Big up this mountain. Um, Fontil area. So Fontil basic school. I know that. 
And I can remember clearly because I feel like one of the time two significant things happen in my mm -hmm. life. People don't get vexed. One, me and my cousin, we saw what they did to dead dogs. They would burn them. You understand? And so one day, mm -hmm. we thought we saw some dogs dead, but they were only sleeping. <laughs> right? They were only sleeping and then we wonder why are we hearing cries coming yeah. from the fire? Yeah. And it was a heartbreaking situation to know what we had done that day. So that's significant to being from Pontiac and remember that clearly. That's the OT camera from St. Thomas. Well, as with the jerk chicken neck on a Friday evening, remember that too. But you were only five. I was only five, but me, I remember certain things because it, 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 it's coming with smell. Yeah. yeah, I remember the fragrance right. them. I remember how things looked. Mm. I remember after school, we took off a shirt and go, me and I were and me and my cousin them. Mm. Why we did that, I'm not sure. Because the place they had like it had no. It's Doing that no makes sense. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I you know, so I remember some so significant So how you reach um, over foreign? My father would have um, gone over. Come. My grandmother, hardworking woman, would mm. move from place to place, settle, find a groove. Do a thing, she have vision too, you know what I mean? So she end up settling Antigua and asking him if he want to join. Being the father that he is, he wanted his son to be raised with him. Mm -hmm. So that was the end of me being raised with mommy. You know what oh. I mean? As a man, as a youth, mm -hmm. grow the father. So that's how I end up So over what there. was life like in Saint in Antigua? Yeah. yeah. Initially, I uh, spent some time with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So I got to connect with her. Uh, school walking distance away. You know what I mean? So uh, good walk like half an hour before you reach. And um, you develop friendships to, to walk to and from school. Mm -hmm. Those things were sign significant. But initially, mm -hmm. is hearing this new accent. Because mm -hmm. all I knew was the Jamaican patois and I thought it was the only way people speak. Mm -hmm. You think that that's the only way people speak unless they're on TV, you can anticipate some difference. Mm -hmm. So may I hear people speaking that. The funny thing, Antigua being where it's located across the stretch of the Eastern Caribbean, mm -hmm. it, it's a, 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 a hub, a melting pot of all other countries and islands. So by the time I was in grade two, there was a Spanish guy in the class. Mm. Um, in kindergarten, there was a Guyanese. So I, while I understood Antiguans a little bit, I couldn't understand what I say. You understand? So, so you have that diversity happening very early. You're interacting with people from different countries very early, and especially islands. So growing up without a mother and, your f and just your father, what was that like? You felt it like wasn't long because, because my, my, my grandmother would have mother me, certain mm. way, you know what I mean? And my aunt should have mother me. And by the time my father got married, I would live with them now, so him and my stepmom. So oh, as, okay. as being mother to some extent, but not growing up with my mother, mother, mm -hmm. um, I'd say one thing, looking back on it, one thing, I'm not super vulnerable to, to, to women unless I think of them intimately. Mm. So the hug of a woman, an extended hug of a, of a woman, mm -hmm. extended handhold of a woman, I don't know it unless we're together. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, I, you know what I mean? So one time my sister had a hug me long. And, and it feels like, weird. <laughs> I'm like, no, you know what I mean? Yes. Because I can't register this unless me and the person in a thing. So mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my, that's one of the things that a person growing up with a mother would be able to differentiate and have like some strength in knowing, you know, this I'm a friend mm -hmm. and we can vibe like this, can hold long, hug long, be vulnerable, mm. and it not be intimate. Okay, you I know? got you, I got you, I got you. So life wasn't hard in Antigua? Mm -mm, it wasn't a hard life, you know, my parents work hard, and try to do them And you say, yeah, one of the, the kids, then we get everything they want, the bicycle, Absolutely the birthday not. party. Absolutely not, <laughs> absolutely not. You know, a long big for a video game? Yeah, that's and a big check of them time. Me try to figure out how to tell me, me tell him, say, more exercise my finger them. <laughs> 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 if you play video games, you know, say it, it, you know, it, it help with something. Yeah. He's like, I can bet you figure out some other way. You bet you figure fingers. out some other way. Now nah, I get no game, now nah, I get no toys like that. Never grow that way, they never spoiled. That oh, I, no. no, not the spoiled child at all. school was a must and Absolutely. church was a must? Must! Ch well, church come like more must than school. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into it. I have some questions to ask you because we want to get to know you much better. We know we see John Pan stage all the times and, you know, the energy we John bring, you know, it is, it, is, it, is, it is just above what we used to. Appreciate that. Man. But we want to know you a bit better, so I want to ask some questions mm -hmm. and let me hear your answer. What do people remember most about you after meeting you for the first time? Uh, yo, what do you remember? 
I think they do remember that I was approachable. I was approachable and warm. Mm -hmm. Recently, a woman said, John Mark. And I said, hey, what's up? She said, stop going like you know me. Yeah. I said, so I said, I'm generally very warm. So if I don't know you, you yeah. greet me like that, mm -hmm. come on. I don't know how else to not be like but you serve welcoming the people. to you. You serve the people so people come out to see us. That's the only thing you can do. And if you say, you know what I mean? Because something you can show in the summer time people call you and they make it look at them know you forever. Yeah, and it wasn't a show. Yeah. It wasn't a show where at the car wash, when I'm very warm, me hear the light, me know a long time, uh, my vibe like that. So, uh, I don't want to hurt vibe. I think that's what they remember most. Okay. If they don't remember nothing else. Okay, all right. If you completely, if you could completely get rid of one month out of the year, which month would it be? I, I'm not sure we need January. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure we need it after New Year's, like, New Year's, woo, and then let's go February. Yeah. We can't do that. You can't do that, just yeah. just in February. Because I'm too broke. <laughs> I said, I'm because I catch the gist already, so I'm trying not to be broke going into January. Yeah. But you can't do nothing with nobody else, because they're like, no, no. everything done from this year, but we can't do nothing. You know, can't go on a show, no show can't keep, nothing can't do, can't have no fun with your friend. Them. Everybody's, can't give nobody no gift, because yeah. like, Everything's so tight in January, so the people in January tend to suffer, man. So if, they, if their birthdays could come up in February, yeah. and yeah. you know, we just skip that, that, that would be good. We're going we to do one like a something enough to fight out January. January is not supposed to keep next year. You feel the same way? Yeah, my feel such so <laughs> yeah. If you weren't famous as a gospel artist, mm -hmm. what would you be doing right now? Um, so one of you things, my father did train me to be a barber. And I really love that trade. You can trim? Yeah, man. I really love that trade. Like bad fade and something? Bad fade and something, man. If it not fade good, it not do right. It not do right. So, you know, tell me that look out sometimes. You have some shows and some place and barbers you not have no time for me. You can't box food out of the barber them most. <laughs> I have my work for do now and them have fit them work for do now. So, even me, yeah. I don't try to do the thing when I bend up my hand and I try to trim myself. Yeah. And the man have people for feed. Mm -hmm. And the man have yeah. to pay. Go to the barber shop and get the trim. He might have things to do with the money too. Say so, you know what I mean at that. I mean, I want nobody to keep showing sure that I invite me. <laughs> you know, nobody put your cousin for the show because you can't have a charge. You know what I mean? Invite me to the show. Right. And I'll, I'll spend my money where it needs to be spent and you spend yours where it needs right. to be spent. So you'd be a barber? I'd be a barber or I'd, re I'd really love culinary for a far time. So you can cook? I love going to the kitchen and do my things. It's been a while. I know uh, Vanessa there and she would, she would be frowning because she said a long time. She didn't eat nothing from me and then we there because I'm not going to the kitchen as often. It's just I've been tired. I'm going to put John Mark to the test here and I'll come back and tell you. I'm going to go to so Mark and get some stuff and see if John Mark really can cook. Yeah. Where's the funniest place you're falling asleep? Mm -hmm. um, can't be on stage. No. <laughs> <coughs> Funny? Mm -hmm. Like, jo jo okay. Funny for me, but nobody didn't see. Mm -hmm. Alter call. Alter call is happening. Can I stand? The altar call are happen and I'm there. And we are praying. But what happened? You know, some of them, they gone left a point long time. The pastor that we are praying. Gone left a point long time and now we're at. We don't know what we did in our prayer. All I felt was me I catch myself to stay standing up. Cause I drop me, I drop now, you know. And rock back two times. I say, yo. A altar call. A good thing everybody has I did luck. Because it wouldn't have gone down well. They would have laughed or something. So I get away. So I look back on it and I say, God, thank you. You, <laughs> you keep me from falling, Lord. You keep me from falling. At the prayer. At, At the, the prayer. prayer. <laughs> At the call. Yes. If you were a musical instrument, which would it be? I'd be, I'd be a guitar. Mm. I'd be a guitar. You need a why? Mm -hmm. I'd be like among the instruments, mm -hmm. people treat it very delicately. That's true. Then no. treat it more delicate because of the <clears throat> how it's made, the mm -hmm. wood. You yeah, try not to leave it in our one car long, you don't mm -hmm. want the heat, but it, you know want things bounce it, it knock out a tune very easily. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to string them bust. Yeah, as much as you have played, you, you try to treat it very delicate amongst other instruments. Drum get too much beaten, <laughs> keyboard get too about vanity in like case, but guitar. Okay, guitar. All right, what nicknames have people called you throughout your life? Um, Johnny. Johnny. 
I guess we guess that. Um, me remember one. No, me, me, me just can't remember exactly how they call it. Lick a brief. Once, yeah, yeah, me remember one. And the nickname named Lick a brief. Um, Why would they I want just, to call it Lick a brief? I just thought it would be funny for your audience to know that. I don't remember what. So, 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 <laughs> I was like 11, 10, 11, I got it, so. We start living with my father and my stepmother and a friend from next door. Um, Lisa, big up yourself if you ever see this, right? Uh, Shane and Lisa, they were brother and sister. So she came over to collect something from my stepmother. And I don't know if I get dressed, something I don't know. And I end up past the door and I only in my briefs. So she said, Lick a brief! And from that, that's been her name, Lick a brief. People so don't go to another John show when they say John Paul's stage and they say Lick a brief. Yeah, no? <laughs> I won't answer to that. Yeah, he won't, he won't, won't answer. Won't. And the final question is, if you were to funeral and the body fell out of the casket, what would you do? I do stay in That's the first thing. I don't like funeral. <laughs> but I'll go. I'll support. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, so far in my life, I've never had to grieve somebody very near to me. Mm. For, me to, for me having to be the person to stand through that. You know what I mean? But I've been there. I've been a shoulder, I've been present. Mm -hmm. I remember going to play at a funeral, coming to play some drum, mm. and me turn the drum, so you know, because I just get dead, so you yeah. know, me turn the drum, so you know, and play the service, so you know, I mean, I want to see it, you know. Yeah. So imagine if it drop out. <laughs> Even them vehicle there, when the vehicle are driving, yeah. you know, them have a, a body run back. Yeah. Run about power and trolley of its own, see through casket, listen to me, me go and let me not see. Me not see when it a pass. Mm -mm. So you have run out of church? Yeah, I'm gone. Me gone. <laughs> I'll probably walk. You know what I'm doing, you know? But I come out. But mm, I don't know what I'm doing. All yeah. right. Now that we get to know you a little bit better, we know you mainly for your singing. Your singing, you know, really brought brought attention to you. Yeah. When do you know you can sing? Ah, uh, well, yeah. Seven. Seven. I sing first when I was seven. Then, you know. Lift me up in a church and go out with some excitement. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought I could sing. We know there's something did it. Mm -hmm. When I knew I really couldn't sing was about age 17. When you know you could sing? Couldn't. So what they were celebrating, mm -hmm. I realized it wasn't good. But that about 17. But all that time I thought I could sing to answer the question. From 7 to 17, 10 years straight. So I, what, happen, what happened at 17 making you know, us so you couldn't sing? I went on a gig one time. At this time, I did, um, I look, I look my own now. Mm -hmm. I tamper with secular, start to do some secular thing. Um, went to, ho to hotels and I met up with a friend. Um, and I said, the girl start sing. And I said, I'm right. <laughs> you know what I had to do? Then I would tell me, come out here, I would give me that work here. It's a shame and disgrace. So, but she affirmed me. She said, yeah. you, you actually sound really good. Mm -hmm. um, nobody thinks you can sing. But I was hearing this level of excellence for the first mm. time. I'm going to say, but what, 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 do? what were we doing? So at age 17, I didn't realize, oh, you need to start singing yet. You know? So that's how I go on. So what do you really want to become? First, doctor. The first thing, like, like when mm -hmm. the little and they try to pick career, yeah. first career day, I was in a, you know, the, the court, yeah. doctor, second career, I think, was, um, I was very interested in psychology, and they start to cook so often at school, I mean, I said, what mm -hmm. the chef thing is, a vibe, man. But I did start studying to become an electrical and electronic engineer. All of that Jan, I can't me. Go you know, see, everything where Jan Wan do, I went study and I went not. actually do the far, far apart Them from far apart. But all this time, I was always doing something with music. Mm. Why may I study this? Some music I go on. Why may I do that? Some music I go on. Music was consistent. So you'd think it's a hobby. I felt like it was a hobby. I felt like, okay, let me say, but... The hobby, I probably can make some money. Mm -hmm. So I start pursue it in a one secular way. So I never get full direction until God called me. You know. mm. Full direction when God called me is how I ended up studying at Edna Manley College. You know. So what age God called you? So I was 20. I was about 19. Yeah, 19. I got saved at 19. Right, full surrender. So prior to that, I did start feeling that buzz then. Uh, 17, I started mm -hmm. doing it. 18, I said, boy. So 19, like me, me here, God, I say, mm-mm, I know you're saying, you know. 
Mm. Stop it. <laughs> it's not here. So, before 19, mm -hmm. uh, so what brought you back to Jamaica before I said that? So, to study, literally while I was doing the, um, the engineering studies, mm -hmm. one of the lecturers, she was teaching um, engineering communication at the time. Mm -hmm. I'd bring my little guitar to school and do something in the breaks. Mm -hmm. Vibe, you know, just mellow out. That's what I'm saying, music that was there. Mm -hmm. She said, you need to go to Edna Manley College. I said, Edna Manda who? <laughs> Edna because Manda. me don't know what is that. I don't know what is at Edna Manley College at the time. She said she actually did dance studies there, mm -hmm. dance education, and she started pulling all kind of strings for get me to get a scholarship to come to Jamaica mm. to study music. All right, so all of that happened. So God called us here at 19. Yeah. No, what was life like, you know, before God called you? What you usually do? Me dance? I never really got that, but me so really, me party. Me really like dance. I never got, me never get to go, but I want to go. I grew up in a strict Christian home, you know. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I go and dance, I need to have to sneak and try to figure it out. I never got enough. But you me, never got enough? No, I <laughs> never got enough. Very, probably, probably this amount. <laughs> but I love the wind-up thing. I love the rubber dubbing, man. Yes, man. That's a soca. No, I never get to go to a soca party. Because mm -hmm. you know you have a soca party different. Because growing up in Antigua, you know say, that, that flavor they did it. Mm -hmm. I never really get to go to a carnival vibe. It was but like. The auntie gonna go to carnival? When me I get to go home, I go. Who follows me? I go left and go to carnival. No, me can't left, but who follows me? I come back. <laughs> me can't left, you know. Yeah. But when me I go. You understand? So, it's like if a particular type of dance keeps you now at night, somewhere I can figure out a way to coin it, mm -hmm. to kind of get to it. That's how I get to a dance. Right? But that's what I do. So what are some of the things that you usually do before you became a um, full set guard cut? What are some of the things that you usually do that you would not do now because... The bad party. thing then? Yeah. Right. So, at the time I did really... Like if I say, just, you know, just ask me the question straight. Yeah, no, man. <laughs> yeah, but really... I was fascinated with badness, but I didn't practice it. What kind of badness? Go on. Badness, like, yeah, I was fascinated with the gangster life. I fascinated by it, right? Um, and we used to do... I used to write a lot of slack lyrics, I used to do dance and music, mm -hmm. try kind of, and the measure of excellence was how good can it match against cartel sounds. Mm -hmm. That was, that was, if it's not good like this, if it's not bad like this, or dirty like this, you know, good. That's what I would do. And I would really try to see how many girls I can have, stuff, stuff like that, you know. I yeah, try to see what can go on for you. I yeah, try to see if you can build up your body count. Them kind of things that they So what's the body count now? <laughs> right, see, 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 see. <laughs> what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do? Uh, so, they think that it's part of your mission. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? They think the billion, like, in our world, when you have that type of thing, they stroke your ego. That, yeah, like, the world's concept of stroke your ego. May I try? May yeah. I try to get up there, man? Because I see him when you go dance, and you try to come to put much girl in rub. I see him, I see him where. Me I never, try to figure me out never know how many that. girls. Me and my church people, me never know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so so all of that happened. Do you remember when God said, Come. Like this? Mm -hmm. um, mm. I remember having one experience when I was about age 16, 14. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kitchen, I sing, 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 sing. And I ask if people get in the spirit and anything there. Now, I'm not in a church. I'm in my kitchen. I cook and I do some chores. And I sing one song. And I wonder what is take over me. Mm -hmm. So, first experience that was not influenced by a church space. So, nobody can say, ah, this did I happen or that did I happen. Mm -hmm. And you do that for sure. This. Literally, me and God, one. I had an experience and I said, what is this? Alright, so, you're real. But, while I was doing the gigging, while I was doing the gigging, I said, here where you do God, come and feel like I come and feel one heavy conviction. I said, it's not right. And I said, cut me loose from it because the money's sweet already. And if it left up to me, I will not say no when they call me. So work out it, mash it up, do something. You work it out that may come out because if it left up to me, mm -hmm. I have lost the ability to say no. That's how far in I was. Mm. That's how much I love what I was being paid and so on. Say, if it's up to me, I cannot say no. You do it for me. You mash it up. And it worked. And I said, all right, mad. Call me out. Wow. 
So you got saved when you were 19. Mm -hmm. So 19 in your prime, and you would have been exposed to the the the, the all the life. Yeah. Right. So when you come, you know what struggles you faced as a young. So one of the one of the biggest struggles, right, was all right now. I'm already exposed to sex and sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. Literally coming out of the water at baptism. Mm -hmm. I start balling up. You know what about my mind? What about your mind? That done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling no lie. I cry and say, God, if you don't help me, we can't do this. And the people were at the side, they, they were at the sidelines cheering, and we walked past the whole of them because we were at the beach. Yeah. I think we were at the beaches, and there was this old building. And I take my ball in March, go right over the man God one. I said, if it's not you, if you're not help me with this, we cannot do this. So for a time, like good and then regress, mm -hmm. fall. Good, regress, fall. And that kind of, that kind of thing that kept kept going, kept going. And I thought that that would be gone upon the dip mm -hmm. upon I don't see how you're delivered now from the world. I say, oh, it just get hard. It just get it's hard. Actually, just get you hard. You know, ten times. It's hard actually, hard. just got hard. Yeah. So that that happened. So that was so like sex was your biggest struggle as a young. Because you cannot do the party. Can't you really go off. Yeah, we never go off it, but I loved it. So it burned me. So even while going to college, mm -hmm. when we hear a party, I kick off, you know. I don't know why my spirit so upset. It wasn't that they were party, you know. Yes. Yeah, I can't, yeah, bro. I can't, bro. <laughs> Jesus. God help me to stop. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know what I mean? I say, I wish I could just do it and not feel guilty. I wish I could just go mm. in there and dance with them and not feel guilty. And you would not have it so. And they have to stay in that attention. Mm. So the same thing happened with sex and sexual immorality. It's not that you don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's that you want, you want to, but you say, I cannot, I cannot do it and be okay. I cannot do it and not feel the weight of shame and guilt. I cannot do it and not feel uh, the, the, the weight of God. I can't beat your mess. I can't. Uh, that that start to happen. Um, never really exposed to drugs. What, what, as, as far as it goes with drugs, I'd ingest, I'd eat. Um, we eat sugar here. What you call coconut drops? I don't know about that. We know about weed. weed. Brownie. Brownie. I yeah. know about that. Never had the brownie. I had the, the sugar tea, the coconut. I've never smoked. That's what. No. We tried like one one time. Mm -hmm. But it was never the thing when we say, yo, guys, make a link up. I then can't mm -hmm. get me. They couldn't get me to smoke. Yeah. Me never want to smoke. And the first thing that helped me not to smoke is I cannot go home with this scent. Oh. Ever upon me. Thank not God for a good home. Not even by association. <laughs> That's what you have to smell shirt. You're supposed to smell it. If he hears him smell like weed, not if me, not if he hears him smell that smoke, you know. If he hears it, it sound like say, yeah. when it round, when it a go on, me dead. I don't want to live. And you want so to live. So we couldn't go home certain mm -hmm. way. You understand? So we never, so, me did eat it. Oh, that worst thing we could have the boy. Can that worst, you know? That I don't know about it. Don't, don't, don't eat it. Don't, don't, eat, it. Do don't yeah. eat it. Me, don't eat it, guys. Don't eat it. That make your fingertip high. Your tour, your tour point, deal high. Everywhere. Is that it's so? Because it's down in your bloodstream, you know. It's oh. not just the vapors going to your head and your feet. I'm an old man now. I'm going to try it already. I'm going to try it again. Let me tell All right, so, 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 but sex, pornography, and masturbation are something that young people really struggle with. Mm -hmm. You know, and to know being who you are. You are you are attracting a lot of young people to you. Mm -hmm. How you know how can they deal with this? Because it's real. I know that the church don't like discussing pornography, sex, mm -hmm. and mass. They just kind of shy away from it because they just feel like it's just wrong mm -hmm. even to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Those are more than the pastor them have sex. Man, I'm just you know, one. Yeah, one. Uh -huh. How them do it? You know what? You know, talk one next day. You know, now I'm jumping back another trouble. But yeah, how do you think they can? And what's your recommendation to get over it? Um, initially, one of the first things you can do is replace. Mm -hmm. One of the first things you can do is replace. So, you know, pretend like you just want to resist. Replace. Because if you resist, that means they right there, so I have access and I'm there. Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus, uh, the phone right there, so mm -hmm. internet is just open to me. I can, I have access. So the first thing you probably need to do is replace. Discuss 
with people you're good enough with for mm -hmm. sale. What can I do to replace it? Mm -hmm. Right? And the best thing, right? So you start introducing new habits now. Introduce mm -hmm. new habits for kind of kill it. But while that is, you know how them something they behave. If they behind the scenes are grow, the tension are grow. So when it revisit, he come back in and say, mm -hmm. you think we're gone? Yeah. So now, here's the next thing what happened, right? I, I don't know how to communicate this any better to the people. There's a there's a there's an experience that you have when you start to see Jesus broken, when you start to see him bleeding, mm -hmm. when you see him disappointed and hurt, mm -hmm. not the upset God who is ready to punish you for your sin. I'm talking about the one that you're nailing because you're sinning, mm -hmm. the one that you are driving the nails into. Mm -hmm. So you are the one making him say ow right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm not even him. I say, watch your man to strike you. Mm -hmm. It's to, 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 to stand in the gap of your sin, mm -hmm. I have to be nailed. And that are the experience. That, so that blew my mind. Let me say, every time we do this, mm -hmm. in order for me to be forgiven, it's almost like I'm putting you through it again. Mm -hmm. I'm putting you on the cross again. So until that start break your heart. So sin have to really break your heart for you to start have any detachment to it. Mm -hmm. It's not that you don't love it. It's not that you don't want to do it. But when you realize the implications it has on God, one, two, people. So relationship wise, right? Promiscuity is the next thing will affect a lot of it. If I want thing, if you ever fall in a committed relationship, you know, mm -hmm. it's the next thing when you're just jumping around breaking hearts. And when you sit down and say, what a person there I go through because I wasn't committed to them. Mm -hmm. What a person there I go through because they thought that something good was here mm -hmm. and I just became another person, another dog. And you're making it bad for another guy to get the girl because she's broken over you. All kind of little different things are happening now. When you realize, okay, this is how I'm actually impacting society. Mm -hmm. This is not even just about religiosity now. You're, you're, you're impacting society's emotional, uh, on, a, on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. You're making people become, um, what, what I call it, insensitive. Mm -hmm. People are losing their sensitivity now. What hurt before not hurt again. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to hurt, you know. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to hurt to say somebody cheat. Why not hurt? Something wrong. Let me like dig into it. What wrong? Why have you become Im immune mm -hmm. to pain? Mm. You know what I mean? So that do I but, but that do, that relates to sex though. Sex though. So masturbation and pornography is something that you do by yourself. Right. So you're, not, you're not hurt yourself. That's the bigger one who need the replacement when I was talking about it. That's mm. the bigger one who need the replacement. Where am I? Where do I get the best chance to do it? Right? And what can I replace that with? What can I replace that with? So if it's you and you realize say, uh, check your pattern too. Check your pattern. One pattern I was did it. So I remember as it relates to sex, he used to always catch me 2 a.m. 2 a.m. I went me and send somebody a message. Why at 2 a.m.? Mm -hmm. I catch a pattern and I say, alright, 2 a.m. I wait for you now. Yeah. 2 a.m. going catch me on my knees. Mm -hmm. I pray and I beg God and say, eh eh. We, we, are, we are going to burn the midnight oil until. So it takes a sacrifice for you not to sin. Mm -hmm. And this is what more people know. You see when he said, take up your cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't preach it enough. There is a burden to taking on this walk. There is a cost. It's not as free flowing as you think. Jesus saved you now. Nice. Yeah, yeah, you have your struggles. Yeah, your struggles. Part of it, your car. It heavy by your back. To carry this thing that I want to do mm -hmm. and not do it is a weight. Wow. I think that's a big struggle that the church young people are facing and you know it needs to be discussed. It sounds easy, but I know Hopefully now nah, make it sound easy. Cause as no, tell it, it's a very I mean, saying, saying it is tell. always easier than doing it. Anything about Absolutely. It. So so people might say, alright, they're gonna listen to you and do whatever it is. But mm -hmm. the question exists that they might fall back to pray to what they are used to. Mm -hmm. So it just takes a conscious effort to say, I want to stop doing this, mm -hmm. not do this. And steady too. Steady meaning one of the biggest tricks you ever want to say is you feel again, stay. Mm -hmm. eh -eh. Up again. Yeah. Seven times the righteous man fall and get back up again. He, his primary objective is to get you to stop trying. Wow. Or to get you to think that you will never get overcome this over. thing. It is better you just, just give up and chase it. That song that we sing, I'm no longer a slave. Mm -hmm. 
that like like him a bring you back into one bondage where him a say this bondage actually free. Mm. You're a slave, you know, but look at how good you feel when you do it. But you actually do it when it call you. Mm -hmm. It's not you are choose when or when now. You're a slave to it. Alright, people in your age group are talking to you. Know, he's an old man now, so the young people are talking and you have to listen to them. You understand me? <laughs> Alright, we're going to play a game called Song Associations. You know it. Alright, so easy words and you know you have just 10 seconds to sing the first song that comes to mind with the word right. in the title or in the lyrics. Easy one was a big artist. You know, and the, all, all of the words are well here, so you have to get all of them right. <laughs> First one. Love. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Hallelujah. Love. Yeah. I will get in a spirit, you know. Yeah. No, John. No, we should have done this a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should have I guess where we should start from. Next word. Make her. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Yeah, waymaker, miracle worker. Yeah. Has God ever made a way for you to never think you're gonna make? You just made up on TV. What made up on TV? <laughs> We need some more funds, we need some more reach, we need some more. I don't know what mm -hmm. else to do. I, this is how far I've come based on vision. Mm -hmm. So, this is a thing I never saw. Mm -hmm. And I told them I'm on a vision. Yeah. Sitting in a meeting talking about how to do a show on CV. What? That never in a sight. So, I'm like, that's wow, the way we talk about. And you can see that video. You can do it for you. You over there, so you in big and better you ways. And me. Yeah. Alright, next word. Road. Take Jesus on the road. Take ah! <laughs> You love his book, Mrs. Take it out the road. Hands up. Everybody push up with the right hand. Let them know that you inside the right. Hands up. Everybody push up with the right. Hey! Take it out the road. On the road, we are going to take it on the road. I love that <laughs> song. <laughs> I, I thought that was your song then. Um. People think so. It and Never Feel My Blessed Messenger. The Jamaican community always start those songs of mine. That's why it's good to say when, when the song starts, start, we'll big up the artist. Big up I yourself, know, messenger. That song was yours. But the fuck, when the scripture wrote me, I said, Jesus, what a song the name. Uh -huh. And I, to, I, I went back to 2021 or 2022 when he performed at Half a Tree. Mm -hmm, yeah, and I was yeah, there. Yeah. I said, Jesus, I'm going to go up to you. I'm going to play all of that. Just hear yeah. that song. So if you never sing that song, then you know what I'm kicking out for the show. The other, so, other word is lover. You should know about a lover like this. You should know about a lover like this. Oh no. You should know about a lover like this. Oh da 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 da. You should know about a lover like this. That's your song. Yes. La Jesus. Run is that the word. <laughs> <laughs> Run me, run me, run me down. Run me, run me, run me down. Can't hide it. <laughs> yes. Hey, John, when you dropped that song, mm -hmm. you know, I think I, I heard it before. Was when I when I got appreciation for it. I was at a show with, um, with you. Yeah. And then the song I said, Mister Brother and Van Long, so me start running, or come to you say, I know some my stuff to come first all the time. So yeah, yeah, ethnicity, rise up the blackness. If the crowd are move. Get People out of the way. I run me around. They say, why but they are running fast and you run across the stage? So me I say, what is? Yeah. So when we when we run up now and look back now, me see a performance, I say, oh, I see. Me not going to know it. Me not going to know it. So yeah, so that song really 
the young people love it. And we've yet to push it as a single, you know. No, that never push. Yeah, we've yet to push it as a single. Because the other day, me I got you one like a something. And yes. then when me see God work, he told me if he does stuff, he does play a song for a repeat. Let's sit down with me, don't run, I can't hide. I just can't hide. Can't hide from it. Fever, I run me down and I can't stop it. I just can't stop it. Can't hide from it. I your blessing them I run me, run me, run me down. Run me, run me, run me down. Run me, run me, run me down. Yes. People, the blessing are running down. Sometimes, it myself, sometimes man. the blessing are running down and we don't even realize that. It yes, is. yeah. Me, 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 personally, when we experience it, this, uh, this is the third song I approach Messenger with, you know. Mm -hmm. First one, him said, go with that. Mm -hmm. in, in, in his words, mm -hmm. as a Trinidadian. Mm -hmm. John Mark, boy, all of us talk too much in this song, you know. Mm -hmm. When it comes to soca music, all they had to sing things that people could sing in their sleep. You're chatting too much in this song. Revisit soca music, give my next song, him say, yeah. Him send me a verse, you know. Song bad. Until. Leading up to validation, the mm -hmm. album I do, you know, mm -hmm. and me I look for your song, you know, mm -hmm. and I started experiencing blessings coming in, Ooh. and things just start shift and change, opportunities will lead up to my launch. My launch has not yet happened, mm -hmm. and things that are happening, the, the people who are sponsor, even the people who are saying no, mm -hmm. and the other people who are help, when I expect for help, I'm not saying. And so a lot of the song was about people, not things. Mm. It's about manpower. And not, so not the person giving me a thing. It's about them coming and saying, I believe in it. Mm. Here am I. So human resource, you can never, you can never give something back that tangible, that's worthy of their presence uh, and their support and their energy. And when we say blessings around me down, the main thing is that people are showing up in different ways in my life. Wow. Yeah. And you know, you know what's interesting is that blessings are run down one mm -hmm. But we want want to dictate our blessing. Jeez. So we want an Audi, mm -hmm. but because we are get a Nissan, mm -hmm. we just feel like it's a blessing. Yeah, the Audi no might come as cursed you when I'm in the next time. Exactly. Man. So <laughs> curse, yeah, you want to curse. That's true. <laughs> Probably that's why. But but <laughs> but but some blessing that we want, when God has blessed me, yeah. we don't want that. So we just eat, we ignore it. It's true. You know, so sometimes we we'll wait are longer yeah. because sometimes we get some pre some pre blessing yeah. that will lead to the big blessing. Yeah. So look here, blessing around the down. I hear John tell you. So you need to just stream that song right now. But I'm fucking on all the music platforms. And buy it. Run me down. Buy it, man, and put it on the phone. Don't work. Work. <laughs> 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 no, 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 we're no, 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 John, you sound just like how you sound on the recording. Then they can't rub so they never picked you in a studio. You can't rub God and you can't rub it, people. Jeez, you sound good. You know, those songs are songs that we all love. And if you never get in the right people, we're not going to stop listening to John. It's a shame. It's a shame. Validation is the album. Yes. And, um,. You have songs, work is on it, run is on it. Mm -hmm. You put love and love and on it, on it yeah. and some other songs on it. Mm -hmm. Validation. Why this, validation? This, this whole idea. Um, one, a few things when we say happening in the industry. Mm -hmm. People just getting a bag of covers, singing a bag of covers, and you feel like you think I grow, and then say, but you know, a mission, you know, a purpose, mm -hmm. really. And when I landed on that, when we hear God say, first thing Him say, redeem. I so, said, alright, redemption, alright, cool. And this was coming to to a person that ran that positive one. I said, you see when God gave a word? Because mm -hmm. I was asking him, how is he so pointed? Mm -hmm. How is he so focused? How, how, how his ministry never really sound wide? Mm -hmm. It's so, that it appealed to a wide audience, but the message is narrow. I said, well, how you get that? He said, you see God for that. You see God, God tell redemption first, and he tell me how, mm -hmm. by validating the people. Why? 
because most of the things that we start doing when we say, uh, you, know, you know, I'm on a journey, uh, uh, I'm finding out myself, mm -hmm. I'm figuring out myself. There's no figuring out yourself without figuring out who made you. Mm. Right? Mm. So you are, you are trying to figure out a very temporary product, meaning you have only so much time to be here, to figure it out, then to live out that purpose. Mm -hmm. But you check who make you, mm -hmm. and then understand what he would have you here to do, mm -hmm. right? And then we realize people in their search is only searching for where they will be affirmed mm -hmm. and where they will be validated. So even their profession, they might try to find a profession where they would be affirmed or validated. They might find a friend group where they will be affirmed or mm -hmm. validated. Uh, the sport club, the particular ride, the car, the, all of what people do mm. is to see who will say, I accept you mm. for how I see you and how I feel about you. And until they find that, they will always be in search. Mm. And when trends change, you are going to start search again. Yes. But you see, God, you see, when, when, you validator. Un yes, when you understand what God says about you, royal priesthood, holy nation, you're my child, I've washed you with my word, mm. I've redeemed you, I've bought you with a price. When you understand what he says about you, then when you scroll and hear different influencers saying different things, if it doesn't sound like what him said, mm. you can keep, keep scrolling. scrolling. You know what I add, always add to that, uh, is that he calls me to be the head and not the team. Come on, Lender absolutely. and not the borough, above absolutely. and not the need. So you know, when you know, who God called you to be? Absolutely. Your boundaries are clear. Yes. And you stick with them. Yes. Ooh, what your is boundaries that? are clear. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. And you stick with them. You stick with them. Yeah. You know, never. That's where the problem is going to break our boundaries. Yeah. That God already determined what our boundaries should be. Yeah. Based you are blessed in here, you know. Yes. But you feel like, no, I'm going to go over here, man. The next grass, mm. so forget the blessing. But, no. And to get the validation. And to get the validation. When you're validation. already validated. Yeah. I love the album, people, yes. and you know, I bought all the songs on it. So, you need to buy the song. Like me, I have Apple phone, so we just, you know, go down, go down, buy all in one one. Exactly. And, and I, think got, I think it was about 99 cents or something like that. No money, I have no money, you know. I don't support the artist, you know. Yeah. Not even a yeah. five support percent. The artist the there, you know. No class, no. So on the album, I think you have 15 tracks. 15 tracks, 14 songs, one, one, one address. I'm um, pretty yeah. So, which is your favorite song on it? Mm. Seasons when seasons change, I have a different favorite one. My favorite song to perform mm -hmm. is Run Me Down. Run Me Down, we that. My you favorite know? song to perform in this season is Run Me Down. My favorite song to listen to and sit down and is fixed. How is that? Tell me, I that gotta one. keep my eyes fixed on Jesus. Keep my eyes fixed on Him. Realize all the room get quiet. Yes. That. But that's what you want to talk about, quiet. Right? <laughs> yeah. In, even in your blessings and your success, it can get noisy. Mm. You know? Good things can be noisy. Mm. Church can be noisy. You know what I mean? Good places, good people. Relationship. Relationship. All of it can be noisy. And sometimes you just need to come back to a place where you only hear the still, small voice. Mm. And your, your eyes are focused on the person who is the giver of all mm. these resources mm. and all these things that you're enjoying. I want to make sure I say my eyes are locked in on the man himself, Christ Jesus. Yes. Like that. So it gives me a stillness. Mm. For go back and be rowdy and busy and run up and run and enjoy, it gives me a stillness, a center. Mm. Yeah. People, in order to hear God's voice, you have to turn down the world's volume. Listen. Turn it down. It's excellent. Like the world volume nice enough? Yes. Like, like it sounds nice. It's, it's, it looks like it feels nice. Yeah. But may I tell you, in a nice at all, no nice at all. Faith and strong mind is a theme for this um, um, season. Did you have the faith that you'd have been Jamaica's honored meal at the year? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Remember, when me go in the night, you know, I said maybe, maybe they might give me a breakout. That sounds reasonable. Yeah. But the faith for meal at the year, no. I was, I was getting ready to stand up and clap one of the other names. I'm here, man. Listen. You were going up against um, the likes of who? Kevin Downsville, Prince Saj. Who else was in it? Oshin Mace, I think, was in it as well. That was crazy. Listen, I never met no sense. And if you're going to a, 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 a 
category that came in as well, you know. You're you supposed know, to lose. You're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people think. But you know, I when I saw the list, you know, I had already picked my artist of the year. I'm not gonna say that coming up. I said no trouble, you know. But I picked my artist of the year and when your name call, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> Alright, so the question that you know want to ask you now is that are you dating in a relationship? No, <laughs> I'm not dating. I'm not in a relationship. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to be talking the truth over here, so. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? But it's true. I'm not dating and I'm not in a relationship. By choice, because just like all the blessed are running down, me no study. You a young church girl, the blessed are running down. As in, if I'm not choice, like what, like what would the other part be? If it's no, not people choice? are single because of choice. Okay. But some people just single because nobody know one day. Some people single because of so what, choice. Yeah, that, that's not my case. No, no, I joke, I joke, <laughs> I joke. Uh, but yeah, it's choice. It's choice. Oh, it's you're choice. just waiting. Mm -hmm. And you're just saying God, I'm going to send the right person. Absolutely. So when you want him sending? As soon as possible. Are you ready now? Ready, 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 ready now. I don't understand my friend when I start laughing. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. So how are you coping as a single, a single man in a busy industry where the spotlight is on you. Yeah, you I mean, feel anything missing? You use, the word, you use the word busy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, busy. It's only in the downtime I can I get to, you know, fathom boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Uh, after all of this, now I go home alone. Jesus Christ. That's the only time I think about mm -hmm. that really. But when you're about, out and about the thing, you're not thinking about it so much. But I admire family. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. family. So I, I would really love to create a family of my own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I do have those things as goals. Mm. So I want those things to happen. And for me, yeah, as soon as possible. I'm not gonna tell you uh, this, this, you know, this Christian talk. When God ready, because mm. I don't want Him ready when we are forty. I don't want Him to ready when we are we up there. So when God, you can not ready now. You yeah. don't mind already now. Yeah. I don't mind already now. Yeah. You know, so I don't want to tell Him a lie. It's a desire of mine to have a family. Okay, that's nice. And you know, I make very good uncles. You know? Mm. So hurry up have the family. It's all like you mm. know I make no family. I <laughs> mean I like this. <laughs> I like this fruitful. No, no, but even if, you know, I make good uncles, you know. You know. Amazing. So hurry up. I'm 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 here. Look here, I have one more game I want to play with you. And um, this is the game the first time I'm going to play on the show. What? And you know. It's not so yeah. unsafe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm excited about this. And it is called Flower Face. I mean, this is going to be a very easy game for John. I'm worried about me. You know, I'm really worried about me. And um, Flower Face is the name of the game. What we're going to do, John, very simple. Uh, we have right here a random selection of letters. Mm -hmm. Whatever letter is selected, you're supposed to give me a Bible character name. Alright. Don't worry about this, no people. We prefer that. Can you that, 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 that animal name? Can we see that? So let us call it the animal so name. If, if, you have five seconds, you have five, five seconds. Five seconds? Ah, yeah. God, I can't too long do that. You have five seconds, and if, you know, you can't see a name in five seconds, you just have to just. <laughs> So, that? Yes. All right. So, me do that All right. Okay. Yes. All right. So, let's go. You go first. You're my guest. So, what am I going to do? Press it? Yes. So, we press it. And the word is J. J. It says J. Jesus. Jesus. All right. W. W. Winds. 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 <laughs> We couldn't right. find it either. Right. Next one. What Why? Why? Yashua. <laughs> no, what's the name Yashua? No, what's the name Yashua? Who's the name Yashua? No, what's the name of Yashua? Come here, sir, John. Ooh. John, come right here, sir. Next one. <laughs> D. Daniel. All right. Yeah, baby. Let's get to it. Brother. N. Noah. Oh. <laughs> w. 
Double W. W three again. Double double. No double go away. We can't use double. No, we can't use double again. No, we can't. We can't. We can't use double again. Next one. E. Um. E a three again. Yeah. Okay. Eve. All right. J. J go already. W. C. Cornelius. You don't know how name so he's a Roman soldier. Oh yes, that's true, that's true, that's true. Q. Miss um, Sophia. Q. Miss Sophia. Yes. Miss Sophia. No. All right, two more. N. N. Already. F. Fear. I drew. No, no, no. Even though it's not with F. No, come, final one. Z. Zepinaya. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Are you that? This is going on good. This is going on good. Johnny Nipper. Johnny Sephiro. You know, come with the guitar, cause this now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I love that. I think I'm gonna do this more often. I love that game. Now, Holy Road is something you're doing now with CVM TV. Yeah. So people are emailing you on CVM TV. It's yes, true, yeah, him, I mean. Him. What's the experience like so far? It's been great. Mm. I didn't know that being behind the camera is such hard work. Mm. Like even how we're behind it now and how, yeah, some intricacies are there that you're, you're not aware of. That a 30 minute show is really a four or five hour shoot. Yes. Ajay, it's crazy. Yes. Um, but I, even doing this now, you know, sure the people that be on the camera, them just want to They want to hurry up. You know? <laughs> but I've been loving it. I've been yeah. loving that. It's an it's an aspect of ministry mm -hmm. that takes on a different look and feel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I've learned so much, you know, just, just being able to talk with these different pastors and ministers mm -hmm. um, and going to these different churches. You know, so it's mm -hmm. a... a an eclectic experience, mm. uh, so I really appreciate that. All right, that's good. You know, that's the fate we are talking about because you never know things like on TV. Never know. You know? So, what's next for you? Um, I'd love Holy Road to do a next season. See if you're listening. Mm -hmm. I'd love for you to do a next season. Um, but I want to continue to give to the people um, visual experiences of these songs that mm. they've grown attached to. Um, to kind of paint the picture another way so they have a next appreciation for it mm. and um, I intend to continue to give you excellent music mm. you know that song that says um, we need our spirit filled preachers teachers right from mm -hmm. we need some good gospel singers that line is in the song to help us go another mile mm. I always have that as like a mandate we need some good gospel singers to help us go another mile I know that my role um, in ministry my role in music it's for help. Mm. It's for help when I go on next mile. Yes. So if I can continue doing it. that, so I'm fulfilling my purpose. So you're currently writing. Current, uh, yeah. Always writing. Yeah. You know, probably just one song come out of the interview. You never True. know. You know. You know. As a creative, your mind. So anybody in the industry know that you really want big up. Mm. Now get yourself not trouble. Big up. People in the industry that support you, that really <coughs> help to make you who you are today. You're referring to artists? Mm -hmm. Okay, with regards to artists, let, let's talk. Uh, Kevin Downswell, Rhoda Isabella, Randall Positive. Mm. Um, definitely, you know? Um, I big up Jermaine Edwards, absolutely. As a matter of fact, Jermaine Edwards is the reason why I do gospel music. It's his music I came across first, and I was like, me never see you, you know, but mm. some more this music. Pull me, you know what I mean? So big up, um, I, I big up my peers. For instance, like Prince Saj, mm -hmm. yeah man, excellent man of God, excellent at his craft. Mm -hmm. Those things are very motivating and very helpful. Um, and you have that kind of person in your space, keeping you accountable to even respecting your own craft and, mm -hmm. and keep growing. Um, Ryan Davis, Trivel Clark, when the whole works, the whole team, them. Call so everybody. No, because <laughs> sometimes not just the people above that's pulling you up. Yeah. Sometimes the people around it that's pushing you up, and they I do a lot that. of pushing. So I really I appreciate that. I love that. that. I love that. Yeah, man. So uh, if we want to book you. Mm -hmm. For all the events your church can ever keep. Matter of fact, no concert can nice without John Mark. Lord God, you you know, answer. no star function. What? You know, once you once you say gospel, it can't nice without Jeez. John Mark. When you're ready, Ron.
me down, da down, da down, da down, da down. Run me down, run me down. Hey, 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 I'm not one. Move from where you're there. Don't tell us what to bring. Run me down. Run me down. Hey, we we I'm not ashamed. To sit in a week till love will fight. I tried everything, Lord. Running away from you. So yeah, they have to just call him, they just have to just book him. Even if you come here to a birthday party, you know, come make blessings run it down because, you know, blessings or just teach you how to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how can we find you to book him? Imperium Gospel. Mm -hmm. Imperium Gospel, if, if you reach out to that, or if you don't know what to do and you hit me up on IG, I can give you some information mm -hmm. for you to follow through on the booking. So, John Mark Wigan on all the social media platforms. Uh, even if you are commenting on TikTok for say, yo, how to book you, I'll respond right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Touch you wherever you are. Because okay. if you have Facebook you have comment on, mm -hmm. we can make you know how to go about that. But Imperium Gospel. Ooh. Mm -hmm. All the information is right here. Uh, yeah. So, see to right, yes. You know, just touch base with John, and of course, he will make your event, your gospel event, worthy of worshiping. Mercy. <laughs> God be the glory. John Mark Wigan yeah. was my guest for no, today. No, man, it's a major pleasure. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure it, to have you. I'm Rajon Brown, and authenticity creates an audience, and I thank you for allowing me to be my authentic self. And John, yeah. to be real authentic self, yeah, you know? Funny. And in so doing, create beautiful audience like you. Yeah. So until next week, when I bring to you another amazing person, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell another friend, to tell another friend, to tell just one more friend yeah. that we are doing something good over here. Yeah. And John was here. I was here. <laughs> Same. Have a good week. See you next week. Bless up. Yes. No, man. Blessings are run, 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 run,